So with the second editions, our motivation was to keep the material fresh and up to date. When we're writing, we do try to uh, choose topics that don't go quickly out of date, that don't age too quickly, but inevitably some topics go in and out of fashion. And a case in point is the topic of environment. It wasn't so long ago that the topic of environment would send students to sleep, but nowadays it's a really hot topic and one that young people engage with very actively. It was also an opportunity for us to respond to teachers' feedback. Um, and one of the things that teachers all said to us that they wanted more exam practice in the second edition. So we have uh, a new lesson in each unit called Use of English, where we look at specific um, grammar language points uh, that are commonly part of uh, exams and tests and we do lots and lots of practice of those. The other thing I should mention is that we were really excited to work with the BBC archive material and develop some video lessons to accompany the course. It responds to um, the students need these days to be visually literate and also um, of course it's a fantastic um, source of, of language, um, very natural language which we can use in the classroom. The three M's, uh, motivation, memory and meaning, are still very much at the heart of the second edition. Um, I think all teachers will know that uh, uh, there's only a very loose correlation between what we teach and what the students actually learn. Uh, however, our belief is that if we make our lessons uh, motivating, if we make them memorable and meaningful, then there's more chance for learning to take place. We love the feedback that uh, focus is intuitive and easy to teach because that is our aim. Um, and I think the reason why we're able to do that is for several reasons. Uh, first of all, we are both very experienced teachers and we are still in the classroom. Vaughan teaches in Spain, I teach in Oxford. Um, I think that's very important. Secondly, we have a lot of experience of both writing and teaching, so we draw on that experience. I think we have a good idea of what works for teachers uh, nowadays. We're also very keen on a clear, uncluttered design for the materials, and this helps teachers to teach it off the page. We also had the buy-in of our editorial team who helped us to achieve that clean design. So my favourite feature of the second edition of Focus is probably the BBC clips, video clips and the Vox Pops. Uh, the lessons were a lot of fun to, to write for, for those features. But in terms of a favourite feature overall, the word story is really hard to beat. Um, it's unique, um, it's based on sound pedagogical principles and it was nominated for an Elton Award. Hopefully they'll like all of it. Um, I think in particular they'll like the addition of the videos. Uh, I think they're a really strong element. The other thing probably is the way that we've rebalanced the material uh, and we've put a little bit more emphasis on exam preparation, which is really helpful for both teachers and particularly students. And finally, I think both teachers and students alike will really enjoy the new digital components, uh, in particular the app for the students where they can review the videos. Personalisation is important in the classroom because it makes it more interesting to teach and uh, it makes the lesson more uh, effective for students to learn. So what we mean by personalisation is getting um, a genuine response from the students to the material. We do it because we, it's a well-researched fact that if students associate language with something that means something to them, then they're more likely to remember it. Well, like the second edition, uh, a third edition would depend very much on the feedback from teachers and we'd base everything on that. But my prediction is that they'll want more video. 
Um, young people today live their lives on screens. They turn to YouTube to whenever they want to know how to do something. Um, and more and more, I think, uh, they'll be wanting to um, make videos. Um, so I think that side of things, so not just using video for input, but also uh, creating activities where students are creating their own videos. Um, and that's got a lot of potential, I think.